Hi everyone, Jaakko. I want to show you guys how we can uh, bake some uh, color ID maps in Blender and get them work in uh, Substance Designer. So I'm working with this texture, this tiling texture piece in here, and I found a way that we can easily get the vertex colors uh, uh, baked into a map and then we can use them in Substance Designer. Somehow I wasn't able to get, uh, because normally the way how I do this, I use X normal actually to, to bake the um, high poly colors into a, a color, color ID map, but for some reason the, the object uh, file, if I export that from Blender, it doesn't really seem to contain the vertex colors, so I had to kind of find another way to do that. And the way how I do it, it is that I just use the Blender's baking because it's so quick to set up. So, And the way how I set this up is that I have this color ID map which I created in Blender. And it looks like this and it has just a, actually three colors at the moment and and it's really easy, it's much more easier than, uh, you know, going to Photoshop and try to paint these or use the, the uh, masks, create a mask here in uh, Substance Designer. So, so it's really relatively easy to just to do that in Blender. So um, the way how I do it is that we have like this um, piece in here and then I can actually go and maybe um, do another material so you can see that what kind of materials I've set up. So this is a basic color, uh, color diffuse materials which I've set up to sort of a uh, signify different uh, materials that could be used in here and let's say that for example maybe we want to use uh, uh, another material for these pieces here and the way how we can do that we can just uh, go and set another material for this so we have now this blue material on that so I can actually uh, choose this red material so now we have uh, assigned that and the way we can uh, bake in Blender is that we have basically, what I have here is just have this basic plane, which is actually uh, it's, it's a simple uh, uh, simple geometry which has a UVs in that the other pieces don't have UVs because we really don't need them. And, and the way how the baking is, is set up is that you just have to select like everything that you want to bake and then uh, after you have selected those, you should select the piece that you are going to bake to. So now I'm going to shift click this uh, background plane object in here. It's going to take a while because it's a little bit heavy. So now I have like uh, selected this and then the last selected object is that plane where we are going to bake to. So now I have uh, this set up and I have this baking settings here and and I'm using the cycles and uh, I have just set the bake type uh, diffuse and I just have like this color so uh, it's, it's just a, should be baking just a flat color and then what I've also done is that I've gone to node editor and uh, I'm just gonna go to node editor here we can see that I have assigned I just created a new uh, new texture and the way I did that was actually um, I went to here and I just uh, I think I just like created a new texture. Um, I think we can probably, I think we can, yeah, we can click this and then that's gonna create, we can actually do that. I'm just gonna create a new, uh, let's call this uh, color ID. I'm gonna do that. And we're just gonna do that. Now we have like a new image in here and, and then that should be, I think it should be assigned to that in node editor so that somehow the blender, just the way how it works that it will, uh, I'm just going to select that. So now it's assigned to this plane. So um, we should be probably ready to bake. I'm just going to go to back to uh, the image, uh, the UV image editor here. And I'm just going to hit the bake, and we can see that it's going to it says like circular dependent for image color ID, but I don't believe because it doesn't render. So so it means that actually we are rendering to the same image which uh, is going to be used in the scene, and uh, but but we don't. Um, I have disabled the uh, rendering for this plane object where we are rendering to, so uh, it should be no problem. So it's just gonna take a while, so, so I'm just gonna speed up the video and uh, get back when it's done. It's also important to set the right ray distance so that the rays will catch the object that you're gonna bake into. So I had to sign this to number five so that it, it works well. Okay, so it looks like our bake was successful. So now we have assigned uh, the red color for these pieces and then the blue is this and then the white one is that. So I'm just gonna get in here and save the image. So uh, I'm gonna go and save as image and we have this uh, 
vehicles in here. I'm just gonna uh, save that all of that so we can jump to Substance Designer to see what we've done in here. So looks like uh, it already updated here. So we have this one and now uh, these pieces are uh, metallic and uh, the other pieces have these colors set up. So I'm gonna show you that guys how we can use this uh, color ID map in here. So I'm gonna delete that and uh, basically, so I'm gonna drag this guy into the scene and here uh, we can actually, we have this really useful, this color to mask a node and this is really cool because it really allows us to easily separate the colors the black and white masks so I can maybe uh, select like a two in here I'm just gonna drag and drop this guy in here so I'm just gonna double click this uh, uh, vehicles image in here and then I'm gonna click once in this and I can uh, we have this really handy picker so I'm gonna pick up like uh, maybe this one so this could be signifying the metal this red one and then I'm just gonna feed this one to to the places where I want uh, things to be uh, metal. So I think uh, probably if I remember right, um, let's see, uh, we have this metal channel in here. So um, I'm just gonna drag this guy from here to, uh, I think we can probably put it like here. Um, now, uh, somebody doesn't, oh yeah, we can do it like that. We're just gonna drag it up in here. So now, uh, we have uh, assigned this one to be metal. And then um, let's see, so I'm gonna, uh, maybe uh, we have the other copy in here, so I'm gonna drag and drop this guy in here. And again, just uh, double click this one, then click once this, and I'm gonna pick up maybe the blue color for this. So the blue color is gonna be uh, uh, this this type of a material, and this is gonna be, uh, I think, uh, not metal. So uh, I'm gonna have to, maybe we have like, uh, yeah, we have actually this color which should be signifying this one so i'm just gonna drag and drop this guy in here now we have basically set it up like that and this is actually the same what we had it in for so it's really easy to use this color id masks in here we just uh use this uh color to mask uh, node we can assign different materials to any specific area in our uh uv so yeah really really nice way to do it and, and the blenders uh color ID baking works really really nicely here so so you just have to to basically put out your baking uh, plane on 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 top of that and then select them and use this diffuse and just uh, you can go wild you can assign uh, any materials any colors you want and then just uh, the colors really don't matter whatever they are if you if you're gonna be able to pick them up with the picker then you should be good to go so yes uh, so this is just a quick look on how to use Blender to bake color ID map to use in Substance Designer. I hope you find this useful and if you like, please subscribe. Uh, I hope to see you soon in a new video. So this was Jakko. Bye for now.